Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Journals app on your iPhone. Let's get started. All right, so this is another iPhone tutorial. If you want to watch the full tutorial series on the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro, the link is in the description. And today we're looking at the new Journals app with the iPhone. Now, if you don't have the Journals app on your phone, you do need to make sure your phone is updated to iOS 17.2 or later. So just check the software update section here. If you have an update and you're not updated to 17.2 or later, run that update. When the update's complete, you'll see the Journals app on your iPhone. You can also search for it in the app library all the way to the right. Just type in Journal. It'll appear right there. So to start, let's open the Journals app and it'll welcome you like this if you've never used it before. This is the welcome to journal section where you can write about your day, add photos, places, and more. You can lock your journal so it's private, more like a diary or just more of a private journal. And you can even schedule times for you to write in this journals app. And journaling is very beneficial for your mental health and just getting clarity of your day. Even for realizing the positive things in your life, we tend to be very negative these days and it's good to do that. We'll tap continue. I've already created a journal on my Apple ID. This is a very basic one just so you would see something there and when you open it up as you create more and more journals you'll see them all appear on this page here if you've never created one it'll be empty and you'll just have this little plus icon and if you tap on that it's going to open up an option for you here to have journal suggestions but basically this one here is going to use the on-device intelligence to create journaling suggestions based on your everyday moments so your photos videos what you do on the phone if you want to allow that you can you can also customize the settings here and you can always modify these in settings after as well so let's just turn on the suggestions we'll tap allow It'll take a second to load. And when it's done, you now have the suggestions available to you as well. So let's start by creating a brand new journal here. So we'll tap on the plus icon here and it's going to open up a page like this. Now you have a recommended option here and you also have recent. And when you tap on recent, it'll just show you recent things that are available to you. Again, this is brand new. I haven't done much, so there aren't any here. But let's just tap on the recommended section here. And you do have some options down here for reflections. And just take note of what they say. It's to give you sort of an idea. Maybe you can't think of how you're going to start your journal, what you want to talk about. So think describe something someone in your life who you really appreciate, you can throw that into a journal. You can also refresh it just by tapping the refresh sections here and it'll give you those. So write about a song you love, pick a moment from this week that taught you something. You can tap on those and it'll open them up or you can just start a brand new entry, which is what we're going to do right here. Now, this is the journaling page. The first thing you have at the top is the date. You can tap on the three dots here and choose the entry date. You can use a custom date because maybe you're writing your journal about a date in the past or you need to change the date to reference something else. You can do that there. So we'll leave it at this date and then you can basically start writing just like that using the keyboard. You can tap on this option here, this first one, and this is going to bring up those suggestions again. You can also choose some of these as well if you'd like. And we'll just continue on moving the next one here. You can choose from your photos. So you'll allow the access there. And then you'll have a bunch of photos. I was actually just uh, listing things on eBay. So I could just select some photos here if I want. And then just tap done. And it'll just import those right into my journal. So if there was a day that you did something fun, like on a trip with someone, and these are some of the photos you took, you could add those in. And then just kind of write about them as well. And when you add things like photos here, you can always move them around. So you can just kind of tap and drag away. And if there's any that you don't want, you can tap on the X to remove them. Beside that, we have the photo. Photo. So if you want to take an actual photo or a video with your camera, you can just pull that up. It'll allow you to take a photo to add in there as well. You could use videos at the same time. Let's just use that photo right there. And as you can see, it's a little bit cropped, but if you tap on it, it'll give you the full photo. You can swipe between the ones you have there. You can also delete them right there. So we can continue writing here or we can use the next option, which is a voice memo. So you've got to allow the access there as well. Tap continue, allow it. And now you can tap to record a voice recording. So this is my first journal and I'm just creating a tutorial on YouTube to help people learn how to use this application. Be sure to subscribe and like the video if it's helpful. So now we can hit the stop button there. You see we have our audio recording right here. Again, you can move these things around. So if I want the audio recording to be the prominent thing, and we can tap on it and it'll play. It's playing in my AirPods right now, but it's playing. You can see it's moving right there. 
can tap to stop it. You can tap on it, it'll open it like this, just like the other photos that we took right there. The last one here is to add your location. I don't wanna add that right now, but if you wanted to add your location or specific location, you could, and it'll add that in right there. Now, a couple of things to note within this is as you're writing, you might wanna format things a little bit. You can tap and hold, right? Just like you would use any other notes application and you're gonna get other options. So tapping and holding, you see we have paste, select, select all. So if we just say select all here, we have formats, lookup, translate. Just remember that these options are here. The one you would want to use, for example, would be format. So let's say this was the title of your journal. You can then bold it, italicize it, underline it, strike it out. So bolding it would be a good option there. And now you have like a bold text here to start. So when you're typing other things, it kind of separates the title from the body of your journal. So when you're done and you've added everything in, you can tap done here and it's going to save it to your journal section right here. You do have an option at the top here, which will allow you to see entries that have photos, recorded audio, reflections and things like that. So if you want to separate them or you can have it set to all entries and you can see as you create new ones, they'll go on top of the other ones and you can make changes as you would. I'll just show you this one right here. So I'm tapping on it. If we want to edit any journal, you just tap on it. It'll expand it a little bit. You have three dots here you can tap on where you can tap edit, bookmark it, or delete. If we tap on edit, we can now edit the previous journal or any journal that we created here. That way, if we want to make changes or we want to add something we forgot, we can just like that. Bookmark option is also available at the top here. So if you want to bookmark this one for whatever reason, you could as well and then tap done to save it. If you need to delete any of these, you just tap here, tap delete, prompt you to delete the entry. When you delete the entries here, they're gone. They don't go into like a trash bin or anything like that. So it is a one and done kind of delete section there. And there are some important settings that you would want to take into consideration. A lot of them we already went through like as we were creating this, but if you go into the settings application on your iPhone, and you just scroll down, you want to find the journals application, it should be right there, journal. And these are all the settings you have within the journal, giving your access to the location, photos, microphone, camera, Siri, background, app refresh, and so on. You can also have it skip journaling suggestions. So if you don't want those journaling suggestions to appear whenever you create new entries, you can. You can lock the journal, which is a good way to keep things more personal. So you can use your iPhone password and face ID. So just enter in your iPhone's password, and then you can select to lock it, require the password after a minute, all the way up to 15 minutes. So it'll prompt you anytime you reopen that application after that allotted time, you'll need that password. So we've set that up and now if we open journals, there you go, it's going to prompt us for the password and it's also asking us if we wanna use Face ID so we can allow that. And now we've used Face ID to get into our journals application. So more privacy, especially if this is gonna be with more personal or private sensitive information that you're putting in here, definitely go into your settings and make sure that you turn the lock journal option on. The next one is journaling schedule, and this is good to keep you on track. Like I said earlier, journaling is incredibly helpful just to clear your mind, kind of get things off your chest, relieve stress, and to also see what you're doing. A lot of people go through life so fast, and then it's like the week is over, you don't know what you've done. This kind of gives you a way to reflect back on what you've done. Also feel a little bit better about things because when you talk things out, write things out, you sort of see things in a different light. So scheduling this will help you remember to create those journals. So you can just basically set the time here, set the dates, tap on each day you want your schedule to remind you, and you'll be notified on those days, a little reminder to create your journal. And that way you have a schedule to journal. Maybe you do it once a week, twice a week. It's totally up to you, but that's a way that you can be reminded so you can get on a regular schedule. Now, another really unique way I kind of thought of using this is in a content creation sort of way, almost like in the past when you would walk around with a video camera or handheld camera. This is a way you can create those videos if we just create a new one here and almost do a full Christmas recap as it's happening. So instead of just opening up the Photos app, taking a photo, you could right here have the Journals app open. And if it's Christmas time, tap on that, take your video, everybody's around, say, hey, how are you? What's going on? Merry Christmas 2023 or whatever holiday it is. And then you tap stop and you're going to use the video. And just like that, the video is imported right there into your journal and you can just write a quick memo uh, jason and julie 
here for Christmas 2023, right? Like things like that. And then almost capture all the moments within this application here, or even your day or your kids growing up, like you do a weekly journal for your kids. I've heard on uh, like creating an email account for your kids and then taking a photo a day with them but you can also do that within this journal app every day a quick journal of your child what's going on a quick picture them eating growing learning something new great way to save all of this on your phone and just tap done and they're right there and now something to keep in mind is the journal app itself if you go to your iCloud settings here it's also now saving to the cloud here so you can make sure that even if your phone breaks something happens you switch that on that way your journal is saved to the cloud as well and you don't have to risk or feel like if something happens you're going to lose it so that is the journals app or journal app i just keep calling it journals but that's the journal app on the iphone a great way for you to relieve stress capture moments get your thoughts in words photos videos and more let me know what you guys think of this application and if this video helped. If it did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. I have a full iPhone 15, 15 Pro series of tips, tricks, and tutorials, so definitely check that out. The link is in the description. As always, I will see you in the next one.